everyone, how is it going? In today's tutorial, we're going to create the WPPR which is stand out for Weda Spot Art Portrait founded by Mr. Weda Abdul Rashid from Indonesia. Mr. Weda Abdul Rashid is one of the illustrators from Indonesia since the 70s. Mr. Weda feels uncomfortable because it's more difficult for him to draw the faces with realistic and detail cause the aging eyes. From that vision problem, he creates one of the key bizarre made from the diagonal lines and shape thing that connect each other called the WPAP. He founded this style of art in 1990. Okay, let's begin. Alright, first let's import our picture by going to fall. Import. And it's just this. Yes, hit OK. As you can see, I set the document size same with the picture. And here, file document properties. You can set to the same picture to make it fit just drag it to here and create new layer click this icon and name it lock the image layer so we're working on the WPAP layer then press B to activate the bezier tool and now this is the important thing change the mode into the straight line sequence click this because one role in the way the spot art portrait you must create the straight line so no worry for the curve, we don't work with the curves right now. And we're working with the T-shape right now. So what do I mean by T-shape? The T-shape is the eyes, the nose, and the lips. So one key in this style of art, focus on the T-shape. Make the T-shape really close to the real picture. So all the rest you can improve it by yourself. For the eyebrow first, and start to follow the eyebrow shape. Okay, like this, click. And like this, see you cannot make curves because that straight line option. Just click that and connect it to the first. Alright, for this part, this, and for the eyeballs, and for the pupil part. We're finished with the basic shape, so the next thing we're going to create the light part and the dark part. So you must able to understand where the light part and the dark part. Like this, on the dark part for the pupil. And this too. And this. And this like. And this shape, for the eyebrow, add more, some alter, like this. Alright, let's give it color. Click this, and press D to activate the dropper tool, and change the color to this color. Or you can input this color code to here. Change this color to, to this. You can bring down to one step, click this. Add more color. This color to this color. For the eyeball, change to white color. Send it to back and this, change it to this blue and this to this color. And for the pupil, this change it to white and this to this color. Make it more lighter, click the edit objects, go to this HSL tab, just increase the likeness a little around this. You can send it to lower back because it's overlapping the eyelid, so click this, and this too, and this, press F2. To enter the edit mode, you can refine it and double click to add more notes like this. 
let's see the result on the layer click this and turn off this image layer and you can turn off the stroke by pressing F1 select all and right click choose remove stroke and do the same for the other eyes so and just turn on these images and with bezier tool again Next for the eyeglasses, just follow the shape, press B to active the bezier tool. And for the inner part, we want to create a substract letter, just follow the shape. Alright, let's change the outer shape to this color and for this just a random color and select this inner part and this outer click this hold shift then click again you get to path choose difference and just do the same here as well shift click then go to path choose difference don't forget to remove stroke by clicking this and right click choose remove stroke and next for the nose just follow the shape of the nose first all right I start from here click and here and you can see the light reflection here just create it like this for this semi dark part don't worry we will create a division here later and this for the shadow part then just make it alter like this and this part too you can see light reflection here so just create like this Let's divide the outer shape with the nose shape. Click this and hold shift, then click and go to path, choose division. So you see the outer shape is gone. Do the same here. And this on here too. Click this and this. Go to path, choose division. Let's give some color the nose shape first. Change the color to this color and this part change to this color this to some of green color and this part make it some this orange color and for this two part because it's the light reflection i just change it to white color let's see and remove the stroke or click just remove stroke now let's move out to the lips. Let me zoom in. And with Bezier tool again. Just draw the line of the lips. Like this. And for the lips. Just draw entire first. So you can easily to make some division later. And this part you can see clearly for the light reflection. Okay. Just create some of the slight monochrome, one step down color. 
let me move the palettes to the WPAP layer. So I just unlock the image layer and hide the WPAP and select the palettes and right click, move to layer and choose the WPAP. Lock the image layer again and turn on the WPAP. Change the lips line to this color and for the lips to this and then this color to, to this you can send it to the lower back this color to this send it to lower back and for the leg reflection just change it to white color then move the line lips to the front click this and click this icon Remove the stroke by selecting all and right click, just remove stroke. Let's move on to the hair shape. But first, let's create a face shape with Bezier tool again. For the hair, okay, just follow the hair shape. Just create some variation here. Don't worry, we'll create a division like before. Just make it ultra like this. And for the hair, you see the shadow parts. Let's create that. Start from here. And for this part. Alright, now for the light part on the hair with base tool again. Let's divide it for the dark part. Click this and the hair shape. Go to path and choose division. Same on this. Click this, uh, hold shift then click, go to path and choose division. You can change the hair color to this color. And for the dark part, change it to this color. For the light part, just change it to this color. Just make some vibrant color looks because this is the pop art. Remove all the stroke on the hair by selecting all and right click choose remove stroke. But you see some of this white gap here. Let's fix that by pressing F2. Then just drag it until the white gap disappear. It will send to the lower back of the hair shape. Move on to the ear. With base tool again. Just draw the basic shape first. Okay, you can edit this shape. Let's divide it by selecting these two by going to path, choose division, and these two. Let's change this color. And this to this color, and this to move the stroke. Can send it to lower back, click this, and send it to lower back, and this to this part. Do the same for the other side. It's the hair part before. Can change it to this color.
for the forehead part you can see this is the light reflection so on this and here Let's give some color. You can send it to our back and this too. Remove all the stroke by selecting all and right click, just remove stroke. Well, let's back in this near lips again. So we're focusing on all on this part. You can see it's really strong line here. So let's click that like this, and it's in the thin line. Make it thin. Same on this. So I'm just gonna draw some lines. It's really strong line here. Let's click that. And make it thin and make it thick again for this area just create a shape and you can see this strong shadow in here for the mustache I want to create a division later okay now we're going to create some division by clicking this and this go to path and choose division and on this part you can send it to lower back oops okay let's change this color to this color then the mustache to this color and for this part make it as this color for this entire part, I'm going to change to soft red color. You can send it to lower back. Okay, and this too. And remove the stroke. Let's fix some of this by pressing F2 and double click to add more nodes and just move it. Add more color here, so I'm just pressing B, visual tool again. Change it to this color and remove the stroke. Add more parts in here. And add some of line here. You can see it's strong like in here, so I just leave it as white color later on this. Let's give it color. Send it to lower back. And for this part, just create some two section. And for the under, for this part. Remove all the stroke by selecting all and right click, just remove stroke. Stay strong people, last but not least for the beard. So let's turn on this and let's zoom in and follow the shape of the beard. Hit base tool again from here and just make it as creative as you can. For the shadow part, draw again. I'm going to create a division later from here. Let's divide it. Click this and hold shift, then click. Go to path and choose division. And change this color to this color. And for the shadow part, 
change it to this color can remove the move the stroke selecting all and remove stroke and fix the white gap by pressing F2 and yes drag it till the white gap disappear add more in here change the color to this color and remove the stroke and you can add more color in here add one more part for the neck so just turn on this and with bezier again draw some line like this make some variation and this and on this just send the part to the back letter and for the beard shadows right let's give it color can send it to the lower back and for the beard shadow to this color and send it to the back can fix this press F2 and double click and remove all the stroke add some light reflection here and here press B this and this too change the color to white and remove the stroke send it to the lower back and the last for finishing create new layer animate place it below the WPAP layer select all of this and scale it down hold ctrl shift while scaling to make it proportional scale around this and lock the WPAP layer and on the BG layer create some rectangle shape Hit base your tool again and draw some some particles here. The rectangle tool, click this and hold Ctrl Shift while scaling and change the color to this color. Duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and place it on here. Scale it down by holding Ctrl Shift, then change it color to this color this color to this color give some white color to the face back in WPAP layer and press B to activate the bezier tool just follow the face shape change it to white color and right click remove stroke press F1 and remove it to the bottom nicely done so I want to add the auto stroke, you can hide the BG layer first. Select this all and press Ctrl Z to duplicate and press Ctrl K to combine. Well it's look horrible, but don't worry. And change it to white color, click this and move it to the bottom. And you can go to path and click this offset or the shortcut is this. So I'm just pressing this shortcut a few times. Like this and press the shortcut can turn out the BG layer to see the result if it's not enough you can add more by pressing the shortcut and don't forget to remove the background stroke selecting all and right click choose remove stroke That's all guys, hope you learned how to make this WPAP with a pop art portrait using Inkscape.
I'm still learning doing this. It's really fun to work with the diagonal line and shape and use many colors to make it fabulous look. I'm ZK from ZK Design. Create something good today. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.